Get her, get her, get her, get her. Hold her up, hold her up, hold her up, hold her up, hold her up. Oh my god, hold her, hold her, hold her. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit. Where? Where? Make the right, right, yeah, right there. Just go. Right there. Cut okay. the light. Okay, baby, just give me a second. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. Hey. You're so tall. Okay, I'm so excited to share this with you. So this book right here was written in 1670, and it was basically like an introduction to globes. So the book states many times that the globe is not what we've been taught, but if we try hard, we can adopt it into our current knowledge. The author basically threatens that if you don't, you won't know anything about trigonometry or land navigation. Now get this, the author supports his claims by reflecting on the fact that people thought California was a part of North America when really it's an island. So he's saying basically, believe me, the world is a globe because California is an island. Oh my God. So I got curious. I was like, let me see some maps from this time period. And Lord and behold, they got California as an island. Boom, there goes another one. And again, and another one. Can't make this up. Every single map pre-1800s depicts California as an island. Why? How is it that the people from Asia, Spain, and England all made the same unique mistake of making California an island? So I look a little closer at California and it says Carolinas. Carolina is a female name of German origin that means free slash beautiful woman. Let's run that back. The name ultimately comes from Germanic word Carla, who means free woman. Let's get deeper, y'all. In Las Sergas, Calafia was described as a black warrior queen who ruled the mythical island of California. The island was inhibited only by black women who lived like Amazon warriors. Um, what? California could have possibly been ruled by black women? Montalvo, who is the author of that book, is said to have gotten a book that mentions Queen Calafia and her black Amazon warriors. So therefore, he was not the original author. It must be older than the day it was published in 1510. Is this some ancient history we don't know about? This picture is showing men from Spain arriving to, I guess, the California island full of black Amazon warriors. Why would they add Carolinas if it was not inspired by historical events? Is this really a myth or a legend or are they just not telling us something? Because these myths and legends collaborate well with these old maps and real events. And you can pause this and read this yourself. But African skulls have been found in the Americas. So like, are we Native Americans? And for those of you that think the author made a mistake by calling those women black, Europeans, Americans, Spaniards never mistook American Indians for Negro Africans. They always referred to the blacks of the Negro African type as Moors, blacks, or Ethiopians. It wasn't a mistake. But anyways, back to, you know, this book. If they will lie about who the true Native Americans are, they will lie about the earth being I was trying black. to deliver a package when I encountered a wild carrot. If you walk up to me, I'll punch the shit out of you. Go ahead. What are you doing? You're parking in a handicap spot. Oh, shut spot. up. I'm just delivering packages. No, no, you are parked I, Bro, in a move! I don't have to. You're on my property bro, now. if you don't get the fuck out the way, I'll knock you the fuck out. Bro, move! You walk around with you. Bitch! What? Got the right one today, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? 